Hey there, Anime Ball Z fans, and welcome to another episode of Oh Manga Yosapa Yosapa Nyo Blowa Man. Hey Manga! Hey Manga! We really have to pre record that at some stage. Yes, that's right, Criddle here with our new segment, Hey Manga, where I take you from one epic universe to the next. And hey, we might even stop off and check out Bleach at some point as well. But we'll see about that one later. This week, however, is a tale of epic proportions, of superpowers, and seafaring stories of silly sailors searching for some special stuff. Okay, alliteration aside, this time it's the one, the only, One Piece. That's right, my favourite anime series is also a manga. The series dates back 15 years to August 1997 as 22-year-old up-and-coming mangaka Ichiro Oda sets sail on an epic journey that has been running for only a few months shy of the 15-year mark, and the story is only half done. Oda got his start with a one-shot called Wanted, which won a number of awards in Weekly Shonen Jump, and landed himself as an assistant, bouncing from Suzanne Police Gang to Jungle King Tachan, and eventually, at the age of 19, got himself the assistant job on Nobuhiro Watsuki's masterpiece, Roroni Kenshin. From there, he started up One Piece, which quickly rose to fame and got itself an anime that aired as of October 20, 1999, only two years after the series originally started. Now let's get to the point of this series. One Piece is the story of Monkey D. Luffy, a young up-and-coming pirate with a goal of finding the titular One Piece and becoming known the world over as King of the Pirates. This isn't a shiver me timbers, yo-ho-ho -ho story. Well, the yo-ho-ho -ho comes into it, but that's a lot further into the series. Anyway, Luffy has gained the powers of what is called a Devil's Fruit, which allows him to stretch like rubber. Luffy needs to travel across the world and enter the most treacherous sea in the world, the Grand Line, in order to make his dreams come true. However, in order to do that, he's gonna need some help. The first overarc in the story is broken up into effectively six or seven mini arcs, depending on how you define an arc in the story. This overarc is about Luffy gathering together the ragtag group of wannabe sailors who will make up the iconic starting five of Luffy's crew. From a swordsman with three swords to a thieving navigator, a cowardly sharpshooter and a high-kicking chef, One Piece has a diverse main cast and an even more impressive minor cast who are constantly showing up to cause trouble later on in the series. A number of the villains from these early arcs, which almost seem like Villain of the Week opponents akin to Pokemon or Samurai Pizza Cats, actually make reappearances in the series, making direct interactions with the main crew, and in some cases showing a remarkable level of improvement in strength from their previous encounters. One Piece is a very intricately involved series that encompasses the entire universe and has a number of great callbacks, one-liners, and comedy akin to Toriyama's Dragon Ball series. The manga is very fast-paced, with the most recent chapters packing in more content than every single episode of Inuyasha combined, but it isn't the perfect manga by any stretch, no pun intended, of the imagination. The art style is quite a daunting task to people who are used to heavily detailed characters and very artistic styles that made Berserk and Death Note amazing manga. It is considered by some to be quite childish, and becomes a huge deterrent to people who are new to the series. The story is, however, told with the characters themselves, so the art style isn't really all that important. The character designs, however, are circumvented by the amazing detail into personality quirks and the level of effort put into the backgrounds. One Piece has stood the test of time and remains along with Naruto as the two members of Jump's Big Three that is still ongoing. And with Bleach in its final arc and Naruto clearly winding towards a closing point, One Piece will continue on as one of the longest and greatest manga of all time, of all time. I've been Criddle, this has been One Piece in Hey Manga, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.